So Moitza, your, your point really is about um, the starts and stops. Uh, like if someone did 25 blog posts intensely for a month, and then they took a break from, from creating uh, content for six months, and then now they're back to it and they're trying to get to level two now, will, will their income be sustainable? And your point is very well taken. Like if someone doesn't see you for months, are they going to keep remembering to refer you business? Obviously not. Like people, even our friends, like remember us for like, remember what we do for like three hours, you know? And then it's like within those three hours that they happen to come across someone who needs, you know, this type of coaching that you do. Then, oh yeah, that's right. I just spoke with Moitza and, you know, literally, right? And then three days later, someone else wants this kind of coaching. We're like, yeah, I think I, I, think I know someone who does the kind, but I don't remember who, you know, even if, it's, even if it's your best friend, like you're like, oh my God. I totally forgot that my best friend does this. It really, people remember you for three hours or not maybe, you know, some people with better memory, maybe for 72 hours. But um, this is why we need to keep doing these things on a consistent basis if we expect to have referrals and sales on a consistent basis. Now, do you need to do intense pace forever? No, you don't. You know, maybe you, 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 you choose to do an intense page. You're really excited in the beginning. You do intense page for the first month or two or three months. And then you can start doing more gradual, more, more of a medium pace. And then eventually, as your business becomes, you notice, oh, my referral engine is really becoming be people who work with me. I now have a waiting list of people and I work with clients all the time. So my referral engine, just from the clients alone, my referral engine is is, hap is working pretty well, then yeah, maybe you can then go to the gradual pace and still maintain, um, you know, still maintain a level five uh, profit model. So um, I'll tell you right now where I'm at is I, um, I have so much content now that I've created over the past years that I'm no longer creating a new blog post and video, you know, uh, 12 times a month. I'm only creating, so guess what, model, guess what model I'm at now? I'm at the gradual model now. And yet my profit has only gone up every year. So I, I've been at the gradual, gradual model for over a year now. And my income has only continued to gradually gone up. So I, I'm only creating four, not three and a half. I'm creating four new blog posts and videos per month. And, and to be honest, even... Uh, even two of the, sometimes two of the four that I create each month are basically repeated from older best stuff. I'm just editing it, taking it to the next stage. Um, and you might say, George, but I see your content more often. That's right. I do post. If you look at my content, I post four pieces of content per week on every platform. Just about, just about four pieces per week on every platform. Um, and I just, I'll give you a quick, quick, uh, quick, show of my current rhythm. You know, this is my current rhythm, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, and Instagram. And this is basically what I do. I'm not going to talk through this. This is a separate class, separate Q&A call. But I essentially post um, one, two, three. No, I post three. I post three pieces of content per week. I might post an interview I did of someone else and a promotion of some kind. So three pieces of content per week, but only one of them is a kind of a newly created thing. And that newly created thing could have been a redo of a blog post from several years ago. Um, and, and this thing, the text only is, 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 a, is, a, re, is a shortening of a blog post I did several months ago. And now I, you know, so I, I, most of my content, three, three out of the, uh, two out of the three every single week are reposts. You know, YT best means, means the, the best of my YouTube videos from the past, from the past. And I'm just reposting. So you see how that works is that, Yes, after a while, you will automatically go less and less intense because you've got so much stuff. And, and in terms of my market research, how many market research conversations do I do a month? Okay, I'll, I'll, I'll fess up and say that I barely even do one a month now. I mean, I've done so many. I've done definitely over 100. I mean, if you count my focus groups, micro research groups, et cetera, I've done well over 100 in my few years. I barely even do one now per month. So I might do a market research conversation like once a quarter with a group of five people. And so maybe I'm already meeting the numbers that way, but maybe once, maybe twice a year, I do it with five people. So, so maybe it's something like this. Collabs, um, I do actually follow this plan. I, I do do, uh, well, no, I do about, I try to do at least one collab a month. So I'm trying to be more intense about collabs because that, that's, I think that's really important to keep going. So I do at least one a month 
And on the, sure, on certain bad months, I find that I can only do one every two months. Ads for best posts, I am still doing the intense model for the ads at this point. Because I feel like that's really when your business continues to scale and develop, you'll realize that collabs and ads are, 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 uh, are worth staying uh, quite intense with if you possibly can. Gentle launches, I now do it in the medium model. I do a gentle launch once every two months. Actually, that's not, um, I mean, I'm usually promoting something every month. So no, I think I am still at the intense, intense level here. TLC best videos done. Of course, I teach TLC, <laughs> so I'm I'm actually here for TLC and client case studies. Uh, I actually am trying to do one per month. I'm the way I'm doing it now is I do case studies through my courses, and so uh, I'm still uh, still about here. So you could see basically the only thing I've really taken down uh, in terms of intensity is these two things, but the rest I try to keep relatively. You know, intense or medium. So I hope this helps. And now you can see that that's how a business continues to stay healthy. Well, just like with working out with physical fitness, you know, you might be excited on training for a marathon or whatever you do for your physical fitness. You might be intense in the beginning because you're really motivated. And then over time, you're not going to just stop. Let's say someone is a runner. They're not going to stop running, but they, they're probably not training for a marathon every year. But they'll probably still like, yeah, I'm, I'm still doing, you know, a mile a week or I don't know what runners do. So hope that helps. Thank you for, for asking that.